In these next few episodes, we want to tour through the remarkable personality and unique character of the Prophet Muhammad, peace and blessings be upon him, as one of the strongest cases in support of his prophethood. And we have to begin with honesty, because the Prophet Muhammad, peace and blessings be upon him, was not just a man whose honesty and integrity were well known among his people. This was a man who was literally, officially nicknamed Al Amin, the trustworthy. When the tribes at a time before Islam were quarreling and they saw him enter through the door, they said, Let us all concede to his judgment, and everyone accepted. They said, this is Al Amin coming, the trustworthy. We all know he is uncorruptible. He is removed from his ego. He is totally impartial, even if it would not be in the favor of his tribe, his clan, his family, his people, the way all of us are biased in that respect. And in fact, even when he came with his message, when Islam was revealed to him, the Quran descended upon him, and people actively fought him and persecuted his followers, out of their tribal bigotries, they still, as his wife Aisha, may Allah be pleased with her, said, would entrust their most prized possessions with him. They used to keep things with Muhammad for safekeeping because of how much they trusted him, even at a time when they were actively fighting him. What does that say about their understanding regarding his incorruptibility, his sublime integrity? the truthful, the trustworthy Muhammad, peace and blessings be upon him. In another incident that's been authentically established, the Prophet Muhammad, peace and blessings be upon him, had a son named Ibrahim radiallahu anhu. Ibrahim had died as a toddler and it coincided that on the day of his death, a solar eclipse took place. The world went dark and on the daytime. People began to say, oh, the skies must be saddened by the death of the son of the Prophet of God. What did the Prophet Muhammad, peace and blessings be upon him, do? Well, what would you expect him to do had he been in it claiming prophethood as a means of self-promotion? He would have surely seen this as a super convenient credibility booster and capitalized on it. But instead, despite the fact that he was grieving over the loss of his son, and despite the fact that he did not state this, rumors were spreading about this from others, he still left his home and headed towards the pulpit and climbed that altar and said to the people, O oh people, listen, the sun and the moon do not eclipse for the death or the birth of anyone. Rather, they are simply two of the ayat, the signs of God, part of the cosmic manifestations of God's power. He said, by which he strikes fear into the hearts of his servants. He humbles his slaves by the likes of these events. So when you see these, pray to God and give charity for the sake of God and free slaves and remember God until this ordeal passes. In another very indicative event, reflecting the integrity of the Prophet Muhammad, peace and blessings be upon him, Hudayf ibn al-Yaman, may Allah be pleased with him, another one of his companions, had been able to escape from Mecca and was released by the idolaters of Quraysh who lived in Mecca on the condition, we will leave you and your father to go to Muhammad and be Muslims on the condition that if he ever fights us one day, you will never join his ranks and support him, Muhammad, against us. By the time Hudayfa reached the Prophet Muhammad, peace and blessings be upon him, it was a moment and a day when the Muslims were about to find themselves facing 900 to 1,000 combatants and they were outnumbered 3 to 1. They were about 317 or 319, what came to be known as the Battle of Badr. And so no artillery, no numbers, none of the odds in their favor. Hudayfa says, O Messenger of Allah, I have an ethical dilemma. I was released by them and they let me go after giving them a solemn oath, a promise that I would never support you in combat against them. So what do I do? I need to support you, you're in need, but I promised them and gave them my word. Even in that moment, even with the pressing need, the Prophet Muhammad peace and blessings be upon him said, وَفُّوا لَهُمْ عَهَدَهُمْ You keep your promise to them and go on, go to Medina, don't stay here with us. 
وَنَسْتَعِينُ اللَّهَ عَلَيْهِمْ And we will seek God's help against them. May the peace and blessings of Allah be upon Muhammad, the truthful, the trustworthy, the unparalleled in his integrity, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam.